guys holy shit guys 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 fucking hell emergency 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 oh my god i want to cry almost guys a tragedy a complete tragedy has fucking happened i mean it must, might be a first world problem but it's still a tragedy this guy bob murphy sent me a mystery package a small envelope nothing much to it look i opened it about three months ago I, I, there was nothing in it it was just an unopened uh movie we are marshall it said j mcdonald p.o box 8763 alice springs from murphy it, it didn't even say a first name i couldn't track him down i didn't know who sent it so i thought one day i'm going to talk about it on camera but i hadn't done it yet lo and behold I put it up there with my other DVDs, my other PlayStation games. This fella, Bob, has been watching my movies, watching my videos like a hawk. Guys, I'm doing this on the fly because I have just found... <laughs> Guys, I feel so terrible. It's a white envelope. There was a massive letter, handwritten letter, okay, that this fella has told me he spent three weeks on, but I had no idea it was in there. Tucked in here, I thought... I, I didn't see the white paper against the white envelope. And I had no idea that there was a letter in here. No idea, I just thought it was a movie. Guys, he's just hit me up via email saying that he'd spotted his DVD on my, on my cabinet and said, and felt hurt because I, I didn't even make any type of video. I didn't say anything. I didn't thank him or anything because I had not got this letter yet. That's the only reason, mate. Bob, my man. I haven't, I haven't read this yet, and I have to go. I'm, I'm at work. I'm on my break. I've just come here quickly to check. I've literally just opened this envelope. I've, li I've looked in here probably three or four different times. I have not seen this. Fucking hell. My apologies, mate. My apologies. Holy shit. Had some problems with pens. Hope it's readable, he says. Look at it. Is this not the most beautifully written handwriting you've ever seen in your entire life five pages worth mate what can i say we're here now let's roll the intro <laughs> and i'll see you in a minute the quicker you're here the faster you go that's why where i come from the only thing we know is oh. mate you know what guys i'm not going back to work fuck that I'm going to read this letter. Five pages. Bob. Bob. I emailed him back. I said, he said, he said, he mentioned something about the letter. I, I emailed him back. I said, Bob, finally, I, I've, I found who, and Murphy, you know, uh, triggered in my mind. I, saw, I remember seeing Murphy, but I, I don't remember seeing Bob or B, you know, that might have. Anyways, guys, I emailed him back saying, you're being sarcastic about the letter, right? There was no letter. And he's come back and said, He's been autistic for his entire life. He's 65 years on this earth, and um, he has troubles with pens. And and no, he wasn't being sarcastic about the letter. He was just genuinely hurt that I hadn't said anything for six months. But here we go. Okay. Hold on a sec. Okay. So I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of reaction, and I have not done a reaction for a subscriber in a very long time. So this is going to be special. Anyways, guys. Okay. Are we ready? Hello, Jacob. I want to start by saying how much I enjoy your videos. Now, bear with me, I have been sick the last three days. So my voice is a little bit uh, croaky. Okay. I've just been to the gym as well. My heart rate's going through the roof. <laughs> Hello, Jacob. I want to start by saying how much I enjoy your videos. Thank you. Bob, having the chance to watch someone bring a fresh pair of eyes and a fresh eagerness to a game that you have known and loved all your life and almost take for granted is a special thing. Seeing you out there alone on that rugby pitch reminds me way too much of myself as a boy in the backyard, figuring out how to punt the ball straight up so I'd be able to catch it. So I'm with you in spirit all the way. Thank you, man. That's, that's funny. You know, sometimes I do feel 
pretty alone out, out there on the rugby pitch, running around, running around, passing it to myself, kicking it to myself. So, for you to think that is uh, is pretty cool. You know, I'm not the only one. You've been learning about the teams and the great players of yesterday and today. You've been learning about the fans and the rituals that bring the game to life. You've been learning the rules of the game and working to acquire the skills to play it. But what you haven't really gotten into yet, except for the video about the rivalry, is the lore, the historical backstories surrounding football that make it more than just a game. Stories that you won't find in highlight reels or lists of the greatest. Most are small stories that you might only hear if you were having a few beers with old timers. But some of the bigger stories have been considered worthy of retelling in Hollywood movies. And of course Hollywood likes to embellish stories to make them more dramatic and compelling. But what may be the biggest of those stories didn't need embellishment because, of, because the reality could not have been any more dramatic or compelling. Most of the college teams seen playing on TV and that produce NFL talent are from big universities often in big cities. But the heart and soul of college football is really in smaller schools in smaller cities and towns where the players know that they really don't have a chance at the pros and play for the love of the game. Where the college team is considered the hometown team and most everyone in, the, in that town turns out to the stadium on Saturday afternoon to watch the game and cheer on their beloved team, win or lose. That sounds absolutely amazing. Whoops. Better watch myself. Marshall University We are Marshall. Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia is one of those schools and their thundering herd is, is one of those teams. Their slogan is, at some places they play football at Marshall, it's who we are. Okay, at some places they play football, they play football. At Marshall, it's who we are. But for a lot of their history it was like Marshall didn't play football. They were perennially, perennially one of the worst teams in the country. They decided to change that back in the late 60s and hired a head coach with a proven record of producing winners. But it was soon discovered that his methods weren't entirely ethical. That sounds extremely interesting. I, if it's about that, I definitely want to win it. I definitely want to watch it, sorry. They were recruiting, there were recruiting violations and some players were secretly being paid hundreds of dollars even though they fired the coach. Marshall was kicked out of the Mid-America Conference and had to play as an independent. Late in the 70s season, Marshall was having a good year for them, with a 3-5 and five record and a chance for a break-even season. On November 14th, they had an away game against the Pirates of East Carolina. I've got a Pirates jumper, jersey, not jumper, jersey, don't know, a purple one, East Carolina Pirates. On November 14th, at 3 and 5 for the season, they had an away game against the Pirates of East Carolina University and suffered a narrow, disappointing 17-14 loss. On the way home that evening, when their chartered airliner was on a final approach to the Huntington Airport, flying through the dark and rain and fog, it crashed into a hillside just two kilometres short of the runway. All 75 people on board, 37 players, 5 coaches, 7 staff members, 21 prominent team supporters, we call them boosters here, and five flight crew lost their lives. I was not expecting that. Seventy children lost at least one parent. Eighteen were orphaned, nine in, nine in one family alone. It remains the deadliest tragedy in American sports history. The plane's destruction was so complete that the accident's cause could not be conclusively determined. And in the wake of the investigation, the National Transportation Safety Board issued three new recommendations for the airline safety equipment and procedures. So that didn't even get any closure. Needless to say, Marshall University and the city of Huntington were shattered and the scars of that dark night remain to this day. I honestly thought that they were going to come... <laughs> I, Mate, you, you're a great storyteller, I'll give you that. You didn't give it away in the first bloody sentence. Look, I'm not making a joke of it, but you're a great storyteller. 
and I think this is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, the movie We Are Marshall is the story of the aftermath of the tragedy, its effect on the people of the school and the city and, and their determination to continue the football program even against the wishes of the university administration and of the only coach willing to take on the task of rebuilding the team from scratch. I couldn't even read that fast enough, man. I'm so excited to watch this. Of course, if this was a typical Hollywood movie, it would play fast and loose with the facts, but it's not. It wasn't even shot in Hollywood. It was filmed on location at the Marshall campus and in Huntington with real students and townspeople, some who lived through the events as extras, and they made sure that the real story was told. Yes, Marshall's new team did win their first home game in true Hollywood fashion. Oh, mate, that would... Oh, fuck, how good would that be? Hold on. Mate, once again, what a storyteller. Yes, Marshall's new team did win their first home game in true Hollywood fashion with a last-second touchdown pass, but that was only one of two wins in 1971. The Herd remained the worst team in the country throughout the decade of the 70s. They lost more games than any other team, but they kept working, kept fighting. In 84, they had their first winning season in 20 years and have had nothing but winning seasons ever since. And during the 90s, they won more games than any other team, making it to the Div 1 AA, now Div 1 FCS, National Championship game six times, winning the title twice. And we go on. Marshall University in the Huntington and Huntington still honour the 75. And they say that when the Thundering Herd gets ready for a game, there are actually two teams that suit up. Today's team and the 1970 team. 35 players. All, the entire team. 37 players, 5 coaches, 7 staff members, 21 prominent team supporters and 5 flight crew. Marshall University in Huntington still honour the 75 and they say that when the Thundering Herd gets ready for a game there are actually two teams that suit up, today's team and the 1970 team. And today they still play for those whose season ended one game early as all those years ago, all those years ago. There are hundreds of college football teams and each team's fans have their own cheers that they shout from the stands. But I think that somewhere down deep in all of us there are times when we also cheer, we are Marshall. So enjoy the movie. It's a good one. I'm not even going to go into... <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not even going to go into what it took to get hold of an Australian region DVD to send you. I assume you went through some hoops, at the very least. Though I grew up in mid-America conference territory, and I honour the memory of that Marshall team, I'm not a son of Marshall, I'm a Buckeye. Well, with that being said, now we're talking. And since you've started to watch marching band videos, you really need to see the Ohio State University marching band. The best damn band in the land. The best damn band in the land. Not only are they the largest all brass and percussion marching band in the world, for more than a century, they have been the innovators of almost every major advancement in the state of the art marching bands in the state of the art of marching bands. If it weren't for TBDBITL, pronounced T Biddle, high school and college marching bands would not be what they are today. The best damn band in the land. So please watch and react to the video OSU, Ohio State University versus Minnesota, Back to the Future pre-game and halftime. It includes the traditional pre-game show and one of the animated halftime shows for which they have become world famous. It's a few minutes longer than normal because of a salute to the band's graduating members and a 50th birthday honour to the school's mascot, Brutus Buckeye. But it's one of the better shows they've marched. Thanks mate, Bob Murphy. Guys, what am I going to title this video? 
Bob. Bob, this was absolutely amazing to read. I hope my viewers enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to watch this video, this DVD. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a reaction out of it, but what I will do is watch for you absolutely OSU vs Minnesota Back to the Future pregame and halftime. And that's just one college team. The stories, the history of the game. I mean, this was... Look, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and uh, actually not put my foot in it or dig myself a hole here because I don't think anything I'm going to say is, is really going to, um, you know, give any of that justice. I'm just going to take it on board um, and I'm really going to enjoy this because to see... Uh, a team and a town uh, come through something like that and then have winning nothing but winning seasons from 1990 onwards or 1984 onwards is um, going to be fucking amazing and Matthew McConaughey hey mm. actually just got out of the gym uh, my heart rate's come back down to normal right now so uh, you know we got through the letter I there was no way I was going to see this see the five pages and not read it right, right here right now so we've done it uh, Bob, <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> I messaged him back saying he's being sarcastic about the letter because I didn't think there was anything in there, mate. Much love, wherever you are in the world. No, you're in Ohio, of course. You're a Buckeye, and so am I. I'll tip my hat to you. Have a fantastic day, Bob. Thanks very much for the, for the DVD. Um, Thanks for going through the troubles to get it for me, and I will treasure it, and um, the letter will be staying right next to it, and um, once again, thank you. Thank you. Much love. Peace.